Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be doing a software review of Secure A+. Now you've seen me do a video of Secure A+, before, and you can get it from secureaplus.com. Uh, as you can see here, it has 12 antivirus engines in there as well. And these are some of the best antivirus engines on the market today. You can see it's a lightweight and free application to use and it gives you total control of your operating system. So you can see here, this is the actual program itself. Now, if you want to download this, you can click on the big green button here that says Download Secure A+, and it will give you the full installer if you're offline, uh, already, have an, uh, already have an antivirus program, uh, and you can do this one here. So you can see you've got two options for you. You click on this, and it will give you an example of what to do uh, when installing it. So basically installing offline and already have an antivirus uh, program here. So what we're going to do here is take a look at the actual program itself. Now this program itself is a very powerful tool in defending against uh, malware and also ransomware. Now ransomware, crypto ransomware are pretty rampant on the internet right now and uh, as you can see once they get onto the system they encrypt all your data. Now I do have some ransomwares on here and you may be wondering why isn't it detected these? Well it has detected them, I just ignored it because I want to run some tests on it to see whether it blocks them. But I'll just show you exactly what's on the desktop here to prove to you that it's detected them. Uh, you can see here we have 25 files, these are all ransomwares and what I'm going to do is quickly highlight them again and scan with uh, the actual Secure A Plus program. Now what that's going to do is do a scan on those files and you can see it's detecting them all here and you can see the detection rate here there was 25 remember and you can see it's detected all 25 of them now you can see the results here detected by okay and these some of these are fresh copies but you can see here these are ransomware as well and you can see that it's detected all of those. So just wanted to clear that up just in case you're wondering why they're on the desktop and this hasn't done anything. You see it's detected them here as well. So first off, let's go to these little tabs at the bottom here. You can see we've got the Home tab. And inside the Home tab, you can see we're fully protected. And uh, everything is running. You click on this All Running and it tells you all the services that are running and uh, what is actually protecting you. And everything is turned on. The last scan was on this date here. Now when you first install this, it will need to do a really long scan of your system and get a big sort of database of all your files and, and the operating system and everything else and programs onto their database, into that software so it can protect you better. You've also got uh, the software update here. Now these little buttons here, this lock, uh, interactive lockdown and trust all, this is a whitelisting system. So basically you've got your uh, interactive now what interactive means is you will be prompted uh, with little boxes when anyone anytime you want to install something that's not of a trusted uh, certificate and it will ask you whether you want to allow that onto the system or not uh, and this will be the same thing for malware or ransomware or stuff like that now the lockdown will just lock the whole system down and it will block all untrusted programs from uh, from running on your computer and obviously the trust all is granting permission to uh, install and run everything on your computer that is uh, untrusted. So you can see we've got the full scan here and we've also got the quarantine here and the history and uh, ignore. So now you can uh, remove these if you wish uh, and you can also remove all your history and look at your quarantine files. You can restore all this stuff as well. So let's move on to the app settings. Now the app settings, you can see auto upload sample files. So anytime it's got a suspicious file, it'll automatically upload that to uh, the server. And there's your daily upload limit. You've got your AV engines here. These are all the engines that it uses. So you can see we've got some of the big uh, manufacturers here, Bitdefender, ESET, AVG, Antivira and all that sort of stuff. There's loads of big players here. 
to protect you. Uh, the scan settings is your universal AV. You can switch toggle them on or off, as you can see here. And also your real-time scanning, which is working on the system uh, in the background. And as soon as you drop something on the system, if I dropped a virus on here now, the real-time scanner will pick that up and then automatically scan it. And then it will detect whether that's malicious or not. And it will tell you what you want to do with it, so you can see. So you've got your exclusions and your inclusions, and you can add them in, in the bottom here by just hitting the Add button. So, for instance, inclusions, you can say, for instance, do dot .bat, something like that, uh, you know, and it will put the dot .bat inclusion into there. As you can see, it tells you exactly what to do. To remove, to remove those, you just click on the uh, Remove. On the application whitelist in here, this is your signature-based uh, protection here. You can see trusted by the operating system, uh, name in the trusted certificate list, and also you've got name and uh, thumbprint in the trusted certificate list. So you're getting the full beans here. So we'll just leave that on there. By default, I think it's this one that's on. Um, again, when we move down to the advanced settings, you're going to get your initial application whitelisting scan. That does take a fair bit of time. And then you've got your application whitelisting service running and driver running here. You've got your abbreviation mode down here, that's off, but you can see with it on, uh, it allows all untrusted uh, applications to run and it will record a log. Now, obviously here we've got our whitelisting, which is your export and import whitelisting and compact whitelisting. Restrict applications. This will be all your restricted applications. So if you want to restrict uh, applications, you can put them in here by clicking on the Add and Browse and so on. And the trusted certificates. If you want to add more in, you can. Uh, but also, uh, you can see in here, these are the trusted ones here. What it uh, uses against for its protection here. And you've got your scripts as well. So we're going to uh, come down to command line settings you can see these are your command line settings and also your whitelist you can add in your commands that you like to run and add them into the whitelist and also we've got the other which is your update and also auto update here language and notifications as you can see top left top right and it's set to top uh, uh, right bottom corner which will be down here so if you want the pop-ups to pop here, you can have it set there. If you want them up the top right, you can just do that and it set it to the top right and it will start to nag you at the top right end of the corner. Uh, good news is on language and also you can see here, uh, manage your user rights, uh, trusted groups, administrators and so on and trusted users. So you can add more in if you wish by using the user ID and the trusted groups here. You can do the same thing to add different ones in as well. So pretty much uh, your info and licenses, you've got your account, your license and so on. And you put your code in here for the premium code and your diagnostics and the about, which this is all about the actual program itself and what version. And you've got all your nice little uh, buttons here to contact them, uh, uh, connect with them via YouTube, their home page and so on Twitter Facebook and Instagram very nice I do like the look of it, it it's a quite a, a nice looking application so you've got your online store here and you click on here and this will take you to the online store just like so and these are your online store single user 22 uh, 22 and a half dollars and they'll go and goes up and up as you come up to the family pack as you can see here now again you've got your help area here and this will take you to the help area we we'll just let that load in and you can see you've got all your questions and answers answered here and also some help so you can how to set trusted levels for your files and so on you can go through this in more detail yourself you can spend time reading some of this and it will help you set it all up. I might be able to do a video on uh, setting this all up for you if you're interested in seeing that. So you can see here at the bottom right hand corner it's now detected uh, these files again. And you will keep getting that while they're on the system. 
uh, even if you ignore once it will continue doing that until uh, until it deletes them basically so you've got the uh, lock cube as well just gonna let that load up and populate and you can see here this will be your email and password anyway I'm gonna wrap this one up that is a review of the secure a plus version 4.2.3 it's a, a lovely little program it works really well, and well we'll take a look at it in action in more detail and we'll see how it fares against ransomware and other types of malware so thanks again for watching i hope you enjoyed it my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit the like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when i upload, upload new videos if you've got any problems with computers or any video requests or anything like that you can always head over to my forums and also if you haven't joined my facebook fan page you can always head over to there and uh, give us a little like up over there and looking at that picture right now i could be lying right there in that hammock with a nice cold beer in my hand watching the sun go down that's how i dream my day away <laughs> anyway take it easy bye for now